In this video, we're going to go over surface tension. Surface tension is a phenomenon that can occur with fluids like water. The reason why surface tension occurs is because these fluids have strong intermolecular forces. So the interaction between the fluid molecules is stronger than the interactions between the fluid and the air molecules. And as a consequence of this, the fluid takes on the smallest surface area possible. So the fluid is always trying to minimize its surface area. Now, with this definition, we can also define surface tension quantitatively then as how much energy do you need to increase the surface area of a fluid. And surface tension, you've seen this in many situations. So like in this diagram where someone can put a paper clip and the paper clip can actually just sit on top of the fluid. It'll push down on the fluid, but you'll see that the weight of the paper clip actually isn't enough to break through the surface tension of the fluid. And another very common example is water striders. Water striders are also able to walk on water because the strong surface tension of water. Now, uh, another piece of information that's important for the MCAT and is very biologically relevant is that surface tension can be lowered by adding surfactants. So surfactants are essentially soaps. And a biological example of surfactants is the lungs. So within our alveoli, we have type 2 alveolar cells that produce surfactants. The surfactants are important for reducing the surface tension in the alveoli, and this prevents alveoli from collapsing. So you may have heard before that in infants that are born prematurely, one of the potential issues is that their type 2 alveolar cells may not be secreting surfactants yet. So as a result, they need extra help breathing to keep their alveoli open.